Guatemala is one of the most hazardous countries for volcanoes. That's me on top of one. Antigua is a city in the mountains of southern Guatemala. It's surrounded by a handful of volcanoes and awesome jungle. It's touristy, but there's always something interesting going on. Two of my friends and I have always wanted to ride up Acatenango, one of the tallest volcanoes in Guatemala. I ran this idea by a buddy at Klein, and everyone was on board. So for me, Jordi and Salvador, it was game time. We'd be on the bikes for a couple of days, so we brought some stowaway rain jackets and Mojave gear in case it got real hot. Our first destination would be the waterfalls called Catarata Los Amates, but first, we had to get through the chaos of Guatemala City. At least we're on dirt bikes. We're used to it, but a couple of million people live here. The chaos in the city makes you forget you're really in the mountainous highlands of southern Guatemala. After riding for a couple of hours, finally, the landscape changed to jungle. A tree blocked our path. This local guy was clearing it, so we helped out, then kept on going. We got to the first water crossing. The waterfall had to be close. Jordi went first, then Salvador, who helped Jordi get out of the river because his bike had sucked some water. It took 30 minutes, but we got his bike running. A short while later, we had to cross the suspension bridge with missing planks. At this point, we had been riding for five or six hours. Break time was obligated. Finally, we got to the waterfall we wanted to reach. It was chunky. This was the hardest part of the day, and we had already been on the bikes all day long. You could hardly see the rocks through the moving water and all of them were slick. Nobody wanted to drop their bike and drown the motor. That was it. Our first destination of Cataratas Los Amates had been reached. We made some more time through the jungle, found a hut for sleeping overnight so we could wake up super early the next morning. We needed to find a boat early to ferry us closer to the ocean. The little boat was catchy. It was teepee, of course, but I just dreaded the idea of flipping and losing all our bikes in the water. It was tricky to get the bikes out. If you've ever ridden on the beach, you'll know why we went through all of this.
Feeling good, we headed back north toward Volcán Pacaya. One of my favorite parts of riding through the countryside is how excited the kids get when we ride on our bikes. They love it. It was a typical lazy Sunday in Guatemala. The townsfolk were already relaxing with beverages outside a tienda. In Guatemala, tiendas, which are little shops, serve two purposes. You can buy your beverages, but still hang out there and relax. We bought some more water for the day and took a break before heading out. Really, the reason for checking out Pacaya was to test ourselves before taking on the big one. We tried to ride as high up as we could before it got too steep. Riding up into the clouds, staring at the peak of that volcano, we felt ready. We headed back to Antigua to rest and visit the local farmer's market. There was a celebration in town. It was a nice quick break. In town, we could hear the explosions from Fuego. Fuego is the active volcano and it's actually right next to Acatenango. We were aiming for Acatenango. The view will be sweet. We were pumped. It's steep, loose volcanic rock. The camera crew could hardly hike up there with us. We kept charging up the slopes, but it started getting dark. The temp was dropping, the sunset was coming soon. We could actually see Pacaya, the volcano we rode earlier, erupting in the distance. Just as the sun was going down, we made it. We were the first people ever to ride the Ark of Acatenango. We'd been thinking about doing this for so long, and for all we know, this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience.